Okay, so... Ah, okay, so it goes this way, but does it actually attach this way? Nope. Oh, that's a bit weird feeling there. So it's only that way. Well, 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 what do we have here? So this is the Remarkable 2 that I finally got from Hong Kong. I, I thought actually Remarkable was based in Norway, but it seems that they manufacture in Hong Kong and they send it to you via DHL once you place an order. So the behind story was, I actually approached Remarkable asking whether I could review their products for free sample and so on. And they said, thank you very much. We're going to send you one when we have a spare and the time has passed and um, it's actually getting old so i just use my own money expense to get one so uh, the reason behind it is i used to own an ipad mini and this is probably seven or eight years old and this has aged horribly because as we know any apple products once it reach certain time it doesn't update anymore it aged horribly it's really slow so i don't use it at all so there's no point getting an apple pen which needs to be charged um i don't know how regularly it is but also the screen sensitivity and all these sort of things battery consumption wise i think this is a very good approach and i never owned such device and i think it would be quite interesting to see because i always scribble notes here and there and it's very difficult to find where i put those notes so I think this is going to be a really good way going forward. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Okay, so let's open it up. Brilliant. What we have is the Remarkable Marker Plus, which is the expensive option. I think this is just under 100 British pounds. And here we have the Better Paper, Better Thinking, Remarkable 2. On the front, it says Better Paper, Remarkable Paper Tablet. On the bottom, it says Remarkable 2. This is where you tear, which I will do soon. But before we get into that, it says here the take notes, read, review documents, and with unparalleled paper feel, design, and help you focus. And that's how it looks. And all the blah, 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 blah. Brilliant. And the moment of truth slides out like that. And nice. So we got some cards, quick start guide, manuals, and etc. And uh, we got something here, which I presume is the charging cable USB. Let's have a look. That's USB. Um, see and um, as it is quite expensive product we got a really good quality the flatten uh, cable that doesn't uh, seem to go bust for a long period of time compared to the standard one and it says remarkable on it the main thing which is covered in paper oops oh did i make any miss boo boo here not really it's just the paper quite well stuck in some way but I think you could just slide it out anyway and um, it says here power hold the power button to get started but we before we get into that it's extremely thin I don't know whether you can see that it's just so thin I'm afraid I might actually break it but it is quite firm as well anyhow um, so that's the actual remarkable so okay there's all these papers it ruins the quality of the package not happy with that but anyhow if you open it up we got uh, the pen which is a very good weight and um we got this is the more expensive one which is the rubber tip okay so uh this one it comes along with something ah that's very good so you get spare so the tip end of the pen as well. All right, so before we get into the whole thing, so this magnetically joins here, and I understand that in here, this corner, this is for the actual cover, 
and this is the USB-C where you put in, okay? And this is the main um, power button. So I'm gonna press that because that's what it says. So let's see what happens. Ah, this is remarkable. Very cool. While we're installing it, I uh, just wanna give you a like, comparison. The screen itself, it's pretty much the same feel to my Kinder here, but obviously it's bigger. But anyhow, let's just get this one. Express yourself, write or scratch or scribble below. Okay, so let's say, hi, continue. Your screen is unique. Canvas display creates a two paper experience. Display refresh yourself, give it a try to see for yourself. Okay, so I'll refresh. Did you see that? This is a screen refresh. Like, okay, let's get you set up. Start set up. Okay, so I need to set up my Wi-Fi. Right, it says success, so let's continue. Set up your cloud. Um, no, let's do this. Skip. Okay. Skip. Am I left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Continue. You did it. Fresh. Okay, so this is the menu. Uh, here you can fil filter your files. Brilliant. And these are the menus. So notebooks, PDFs, eBooks, favorites, menu context. Is, so you can actually press next screen touch as well. So this is screen sensitive as screen touch sensitive. Um, and also settings and getting to close. Let's get creating. Okay, so let's create, open and start experimenting on the favorites. Quick sheet. Navigating, you can actually swipe left, go to the next page or swipe right and swipe down top to bottom um, and share by emails. So you can send by emails, convert text and send and also live view as well. And um, layers, you can actually have different layers. That's pretty cool actually. I don't know whether you could actually convert that into AutoCAD um, and so on, but um, document settings, okay and um, blah 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 so this is a pen let's actually draw oh that's really nice a happy face with some hairs on it and some okay some nose and some okay so that's pretty cool so you can have different layers you can actually rub it as well so um, let's try to rub it oh wow okay so you could somehow it's rubbing it but i don't know whether you can see that it's really fainting and then disappears i don't know what sort of effect this is anyhow you can actually choose some of the areas i guess so you can choose that okay and then you can zoom in now the other thing i wanted to find out was whether you can zoom in and zoom out by using your fingers which i thought um, is possible with the new update, but I can't work it out here at the moment. Now this is quite interesting actually. So on the pen, you could actually choose ballpoint pen, fine liner marker, pencil, mechanical pencil, paintbrush, highlighter, uh, calligraph pen, and also the thin, medium, thick of the stroke, eraser as well, um, and so on. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. So let's try the ballpoint um, pen, and then let's try the fine liner. <laughs> you know what I actually can't oh now I can see the difference pencil so let's see oh I like the pencil like you could go thin like that but if you go spread that's how it looks uh, mechanical pencil okay this is my favorite indeed I like that what does it actually spread no it doesn't that's good the pencil does um, paintbrush yeah that is that does feel like a paintbrush I like that um, and highlighter, yeah. And lastly, the calligraphy pen. Oh, this is very nice. I like that. This is very artistic way. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. This is my favorite. I'm gonna play around with this line. Indeed. All right. So in general, there's the account connect to Remarkable Cloud. It's version 2.1.1.45. So if you go to Wi-Fi, 
is actually connected to my Brexit means Brexit, um, battery, show battery auto sleep is on. Storage wise, it only has 6.41 gigabytes uh, and I own, only use 0.36. Uh, the security, uh, you, you could put the postcode on, passcode on, sorry. <laughs> and language, let's look at the language. Keyboard language, is there any Korean? No, there is no Korean here. Oh, this is all just European based language, isn't it? That's a bit of a shame. Um, and also accessibility, left, right, font size, normal and large and help. You could actually ask qu questions and so on. Now on the bottom hand, you've got the battery life, Wi-Fi connection and the cloud. And um, yeah, you can keep adding notes. And when you go to the menu again, which is you get notebooks, PDFs, eBooks. So I guess you can work around with the PDFs you download and I need to download that as well. So basically on the bottom right corner says that um, update, installed, restart device and so on. So this is the version 2.7.0.51 software. And I think what has happened is now you can zoom in and out. So let's say if I were to draw in a square like that and then Oh, there you go. So you can zoom in, zoom out. It's a bit slow, but it does the job. So let's say if I, this is 3051. And um, if I were to zoom in and put a nib there, and then this is 300. That's pretty good, actually. Um, but the thickness of the pen remains, which is a bit annoying, actually. I was hoping it to get thinner. But um, let's see if I could get it thin. And... Um, Three two hundred and ten, um, or let's say this is three sixty and uh, minus whatever it is, and this is two hundred and forty, and etc. Okay. So I hope this video gives you an impression on how it looks on a package itself and how it's unboxed and how it looks inside and so on. But what I really want to explore is to see how architecturally friendly it is. In other words, let's say if I were to download a PDF. Uh, floor plan of a PDF and then whether I could put measurements when I'm on site and I don't think anyone actually has explored that point of view and I'm pretty sure this is this should be designed for architectural purposes as well so let me explore that for a certain period of time and I'll come back to you but in the meantime if you have any queries regards to any of the functions or anything you want me to find out please do comment below and once I discover that comment I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible so thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye